Five years after her debut on Barney, yep, that's her, Demi Lovato shot to stardom with the Disney hit movie Camp Rock. I'm gonna let it show, it's time. Great music, great dancing, and awesome storyline. And I think that um, you're gonna love it. Disney quickly recognised Lovato as a rising star and cast her as the lead in Sunny with a Chance, where she played a Midwestern girl who wins a talent search. Sunny Monroe reading for the part of Sunny Monroe. <laughs> There's that attitude again. Demi ditched TV to focus on music. In 2010, her fame reached international proportions with her hit Skyscraper reaching number one on the charts. I will be rising from the Despite her career success, her personal life was suffering. In the same year, she completed treatment for bulimia, self-harm, and alcohol and drug abuse. She admitted in a documentary in 2017 that her cocaine use started when she was 17 and working at Disney. I was with a couple friends, and they introduced me to it. I was scared because my mom always told me that your heart could just burst if you do it. But I did it anyways, and I loved it. She said her father was an addict and she was searching for the same things he had in alcohol and drugs. By 2013, Demi checked into a sober house. And three years later, the singer told fans she was sober despite craving to relapse occasionally. In that time, she'd release hit singles Stone Cold and Confident. But in 2018, she relapsed and went back to rehab. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm not sober. Demi released a new song, apologising to her friends and family for breaking six years of sobriety. Just a month later, she was found unconscious inside her home, suffering from a suspected opioid overdose. She was hospitalised for two weeks. After a long rehab stint, Demi now appears to be ready to move on with her new music, set to be released soon.